What's going on, guys? Your boy Jay West here with another one. Yo, the trifecta. The trifecta. We're, we're, we're here. We're here now. We're here now. We're at Ninja Turtles 3 movie. Uh, Secret of the Use has still got stuff coming out. This because since this video is after San Diego Comic Con, we saw some of the releases from San Diego Comic Con. Like, yo, they got they got Professor Jordan Perry coming, called it. Um Two Professor Jordan Perry's coming. Didn't call that. Um, we got another Kino coming, which has had a San Diego Comic Con Keenan. I mean, Keenan. <laughs> okay, Kino. Dang, the Keenan Kale, man. That's old, that's old school. Some of y'all might not know what that is. Um, but Kino, so we got, uh, we got a new Kino coming. We got the San Diego Comic Con Keenan. Did it again. <laughs> Kino. Um, and then we got this bad boy right here. Ninja Turtles 3, the worst movie of the trilogy. Sorry, it's the worst movie of the trilogy. I'm, I'm going to say that. It's the worst one. Um, Lord Naranaga was the villain. And then you you would think like, okay, let's go back and do a Ninja Turtles movie. Let's go back in time, fight some old villains. Like you would think it's like the game where you go back and you fight the Rat King and you fight Slash and like prehistoric times. Or, or, or what was that dude? Um... The arcade version had so many different. But anyway, you would think it's like that. But no, they go back to like feudal Japan and they're trying to make pizzas and, and they're stuck there. And then and, and some like English dude is the villain. It, it was whack, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, the movie was whack. But the figures look pretty dope, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna harp on the, fig uh, on the on the movie too much. But the figures look really good. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna take the slipcover off. At San Diego Comic Con, we had some so many great, great reveals at Comic Con. Oh my God, I can't wait to New York. I'm gonna have all that coverage. It's gonna be me this time doing all this coverage at New York Comic Con. I'm gonna show you guys what's up. Uh, I can't wait for that. That's gonna. Um, oh man, it's gonna be great. Um, so yeah, we pretty much got. That old, yeah, I almost choked myself with this box. So we got the VHS cover right here. Again, vintage is all hell. Um, got the side here. Words on the back. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Um, then we got this. Oh, man, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, man, I can't wait to jump into this. We got This is going to be a long review. It's going to be a long one because I got a lot to cover. Got a lot to talk about. Got a lot to run my mouth about. Um, on the inside here, ooh, look at that. So we got all four turtles here, and they got some profiles here. Got Mikey over here. Uh, all four guys right here with their helmets off. They got those oh, those new heads. <sighs> Can't wait. They got a lot to talk about. Okay. There's a lot going on. So what I want to do, so I'm going to give you a little preview right now in the intro. We take these turtles. We're gonna to talk about some horses. We're gonna talk about Figma. We're gonna talk about Mythic Legions. We're gonna talk about um, those heads in the back there. Those '90s turtle heads. We're gonna try them on these guys. We're gonna try them on the '90s turtles. We're gonna take these ugly looking doofy heads right here. We're gonna put those on the Soto turtles. We're gonna do everything. We're gonna. It's gonna be a long one. So we're gonna. Yeah, <laughs> we got a lot to take care of. So let's jump into this so we can get it done. Let's go. All right, we got the turtles outside the package, man. All right, let me get a tape measure in here. I'll measure these guys up real quick. See where they stack up with the other guys. So we got... Pretty much, I'm just going to do one turtle. He's going to be... Wow, it's kind of hard to see there. So he's probably like shy of six and a half inches. Just shy of six and a half inches tall. So where they stack up with the original 90s movies figures. So let me move this guy out of the way. Like same height. <laughs> pretty much the same height. You So you're pretty much getting essentially turtles that are all the same scale, which is fantastic. So these guys look great. The movie wasn't great, but these guys look great. So... What I noticed, a little bit of assembly required. Um, you got to put on these. They come with soft good capes, right? Soft good robes, soft good capes, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, my Leo's looks a little weird in the back, so I don't know if I did it wrong. Um, so there was like four slits in the back for the sword to go through, and it just looks kind of bunched up. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that right. I mean, you put the four, you know, <laughs> you put that in there and pretty much how it is. So mine looks a little weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be all bunched up like that, but that's pretty much what it looks like until I can figure out a different way to have it in there. And then what else? Um, that's pretty much it for adding stuff to them aside from the masks. So we'll get into the mask in a little bit when I do the accessories. They look great. And they have removable helmets, which is one of the coolest aspects of this because you can remove the helmets and you can pop the heads on some of the older figures. So we're going to get into that. There's a lot, I'm telling you. All right, so let's put some of these guys to the side. We'll do Leo as an example. So I'll do him for like uh, doing the articulation and stuff like that. So with these guys, they look like they popped straight out of the movie. They look great. Frog faces and all. They look, look at that ugly frog looking face laying out like oh my goodness armor looks cool the paint the paint is on point like no blemishes or nothing like that just wow they look really really good like this movie i went back and actually watched the movie today and i was like how did this time travel thing work because events in the past have already happened and if there, somebody in the past grabbed the scepter, how does somebody in the future grab it at the same time? Because the past already happened. It, it's mind-boggling. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics of it, but it, it didn't make sense to me when I was watching it. <laughs> but all that aside, um, figures look great. Removable helmets, so you could just pop that off. And at first, I thought it was something that slid on, because if you look inside... It looks like it slides on the top of the bandana, but no, it actually pops on. So what you gotta do is line that up. And then you'll hear like a little pop. Let's see if I can get that on right. I should do this in a lighter room because it's hard to see in here. You hear that little pop? Yeah, so you hear that snap in and then the helmet's on good. So that's how you know it's on. So you don't slide it on, you pop it on. Um, other than that, what you're going to do, I'm going to take one of these masks here. It comes with four masks, one for each turtle. So you got this mask here. It's got like a little bit of a brown looking mustache kind of thing. This one has a little bit of a purple mustache. I'm guessing that's for Don. I kind of got them mixed up, so I got to put them with whoever this one looks kind of blue so i'm gonna put that one with leo and then this one is like a darker brown so what you do is you pop off this helmet again pop off the head i love how it's interchangeable oh y'all you're good wait wait just wait just wait all right so turn this up like this and then you put his little mask on his face and they look dope with the masks on too they look really dope. And you slide that on the bottom there. I'm going to turn that back around. Pop the head back on. Pop the helmet back on. Get that little pop. Come on, where's my pop? Where's my snap crackle pop? There it is. <laughs> and that is pretty much what it looks like fully assembled with the robe and the mask and there you go so let's go over articulation real quick and then we're going to start jumping into some of these accessories different heads horses yeah horses <laughs> even though they were only on the horses for like like three minutes we're going to get into the horses so with the helmet on you can go left you can go right you can go up you can go down helmet off you get a better range of motion up, down about the same. Better range of motion left, better right. Arms are on a ball joint, so you can move those all around like that, up, down, forward, backwards. No bicep swivel, 
Um, you got single joint at the elbow, and then you have swivel and hinge at the wrist. It looks like there's some kind of ball joint at the waist here, at the uh, torso. I feel like that's a ball joint. And then you can move that side to side, left and right, and then kind of forward and backwards a little bit. Um, you can have ball joints at the thighs here. And then you're going to have single joints, it looks like, at the knees. Looks like that's a single joint there. And then you can have, uh, you'll have the, uh, the uh, hinge and rocker at the ankles. So, a little bit less of articulation than what we're used to, but that's fine. They, they've got a lot going on with these guys. So, as long as they can fit on the horse, that's all that matters. So, and they do, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So let's put these guys, so I'm going to put this to the side for a minute, and I'm going to start going over some of the accessories. Let's snap that back on real quick. All right, take me a swig, because I'm, I'm going to get parched talking about all this mess. All right. Now, they all come with their standard grabbing hands, so they can all grab weapons. So that's cool. And what they don't all come with is fisticuffs. So, only one hand, only one set of fisticuffs. Only one. So, yeah. Put that. There we go. That's the right side. <laughs> so, one set of fisticuffs. We got four masks, of course. And we got two pointer fingers. And then got two kind of relaxed hands I guess <laughs> and then two more grabbing hands so you have a ten set of grabbing hands wow that's pretty good and then you have these relaxed like outstretched hands like this and that's pretty much it for the hands then you have your standard weapons you got your standard dumb elbow Standard Leo swords, different than the swords you get from 90s Leonardo. So they're actually brand new sculpts. So that's cool. Nunchucks, I believe, are the same. Got two pairs of nunchucks. Two pairs of Sai, which I believe are the same. So got two Sai. And then rapiers. I hate calling them rapiers. I think that's what they're called. For this scene right here, and Mikey's actually holding these, which is interesting. I thought Leo might have been holding these, but it's actually Mikey in that scene, holding both these swords. So I got these guys here. And, of course, with Turtles in Time, you gotta have the scepters. So, we got one clean, unblemished non-broken scepter i always wanted to what I, I loved the scepters that we got with the turtle figures as a kid i had all those I, well not all of them i had all the four turtles at april and then i had that dude that casey lookalike guy and then years later of course i found out it was like and and i guess it was an ancestor of casey i don't know it was Casey. it was casey but it wasn't casey you know you know how it went so i got the egg timer egg timer uh uh, I just said it. <laughs> yeah, so we got this one. And this one's all neat and clean. There's nothing wrong with it. So this, this scepter's good. And then we have a broken scepter. So you see this one at the end. When Mikey decides to finally come home. Well, no choice of his own, of course. Because <laughs> he didn't want to come back. So it's all broken. You can see, like, the broken glass. And it's kind of, like, dented a little bit. And, and, like, messed up. So that's really cool. It's a nice touch. And then the one they were trying to make because they've lost <laughs> the other one. So, yeah. I still don't get how time travel works in that movie. I don't get it. <laughs> so, this is the one they were trying to make, which is pretty cool. So, there's that. And then we got heads for the 90s turtles, which is awesome. So, we're going to get into that right now. Ah, all right. The thing with this, though. A thing that kind of is a bummer is the fact that we get new heads, 
right? So this is this is the Leo head. Actually, comes a lot of these come from this picture here, except for the one for Raphael, and I'll show you that one where that comes from. The bandana color. So the bandana color for the new um, '90s heads for Leo is Secret of the Ooze and Turtles in Time colored, and then as you can see, I have the interchangeable. Uh, the longer pieces in the back. This is from 90s Leo. So it's a different color blue. So that's kind of a bummer. So yeah, if you guys are customizers or painters out there, you got a little work if you want to get it to match. So there's that. So I'm going to have to paint mine to match the bandana because I want to have the shorter bandana and not the longer one. So, but there, that's cool that everything's interchangeable. This head also works on the secret of the used bodies, which I'll show you right here. So yeah, you can put it on the secret of the used body, you can put it on the 90s body. Just the thing with the bandanas is different color. So next up, since we're on that picture, Donatello. Now his is his matches up pretty good. I put on the uh, 90s long bandana piece here. And it matches up pretty good. So that's him. Put him on a 90s body. I gotta find me a Raph and, a, and Mikey, though. I gotta find me an extra set, man. They're hitting Walmarts now, but they haven't hit my area. So I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. So I'd rather put them on the 90s bodies than Secret of the Use, Because Secret of the Use, I got something different playing for them. So, you know, extra set of Secret of the Use. Oh, you'll see. You'll see what I do with them. So here I do have, I, I did use my secret of the used body for this Mikey head because I got to get the wrap from Mikey from the, the 90 set. So that's what his head looks like. And it's a different orange too. So his is a different orange. It's a little bit lighter, but you know, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, it's, let me see. You know Let's swap it out and see how much of a difference it's going to make. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's definitely noticeable. One's more of a red orange, one's more of an orange orange. It's definitely noticeable. But I have to do a little paint work on that one. If I want the shorter bandana. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So Leo and Don need some paint work. Okay, so there's that head. These heads are pretty dope. Only thing I don't like about Leo's head, though, let me go back to Leo for just a second, is the inside of his mouth is, like, white. There's, like, a little gap in between his teeth and in the inside of his mouth. It's all white, so, like, that kind of bothers me a little bit, so I might have to do more than just paint his bandana, but paint his tongue pink or something. Yeah, that's just weird. It's just all white, like somebody threw paint in his mouth and just did, did, yeah, <laughs> didn't fit it. So Raph is actually not from that picture. Raph is from this picture. So this is Raph when he's fighting in the subway. That's, that's that face. Yeah, this, that's the same one. So this is the Raph when he's fighting in the subway saving April. That's that head right there. I love that we got new heads for, for, for the 90s turtles. It makes me spend more money though, so it kind of sucks, but it's cool <laughs> at the same time. You gotta display all the heads, man. You can't just have one head. Yeah, I gotta have all three displayed. I could go crazy like that. <laughs> oh, I spent too much money on this stuff. All right, so we got through the interchangeable heads, and then I'll show you right here how basically you could take these heads here from uh, the third movie, put them on the Secret of the Used Turtles, and then you can have them without their armor on. And it, it, and it works really well. It works really well. And then you could take um, the new 90s heads that come with the, the Turtles 3-packs and put them on the Secret of the Used bodies. That works. And then you can put them on the 90s Turtles. It's so crazy how it's interchangeable. 
it's insane. You could you could mix and match these things for days. It's pretty awesome. All right, now with these new turtles, you need something to ride on. So I picked up this Mythic Legion's horse. Um, there's actually a couple of these. There's like there's a there's a lighter brown one, but that one's gonna cost you some money. Um, on the aftermarket, it's like over a hundred dollars, and I'm like, you know what? I'll wait. Cause there's this one coming out with a little bit more armor on but it's the same color brown so i'm gonna wait for those probably pick up like two of those uh, maybe one more of these and then maybe give it a little bit of a paint job make it a little bit lighter of a of a black a little, maybe like a really really dark brown and while the other two will be like a, uh this will be dark brown that'll be light brown we'll, you know have a little you know different colors in there um but i was noticing like this horse looks the most real out of any horse that I've, I've i was doing some research on these and this horse looks the most like authentic and looks like an actual horse i looked at the figma ones they look kind of small the figma it, the description shows the figma horses as being bigger but they're not they're actually smaller um and then the joints has that little like round like joint and it looks ugh, it looks so bad this is probably your best bet i know mcfarland makes a horse too but like trying to get your hands on that it's probably going to be costly this was like 70 79 bucks maybe or 79 or 70 bucks that's that's definitely affordable if you want to get a couple of these and then you got the new one coming out that's about the same price i think this one is the way to go looks like a real horse it's got some size on them. This thing, look, like, I've been next to a real horse before, and those things are gigantic. Like, they're, they're big beasts. So when you put it next to a turtle, yeah, the horse should be towering over, a, like, a four-foot, five-foot turtle. So, what we're going to do here, you know, I'm going to use rat for this demonstration. So we're gonna put Raph up there, grab him by his little reins here. And I think this would probably be the best scale horse. Um, yeah. And most affordable horse too. Well, actually, you know what? Oh God. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Like, bruh, don't be breaking my stuff. <laughs> I think it's gonna be the most affordable horse aside from the Figma, but then it's also got the size over Figma too. Like it's it's got an actual like great scale compared to the turtles. So we'll try to sit him down on the horse. I think I put Leo on the horse the first time. I used Leo for a lot of <laughs> demonstrations, but that's gonna how he's gonna look on the horse. That looks really good. I think with the Figma horse, he would be like too big, and the the, pro the joints probably wouldn't even hold a figure of this size because it's more it's meant for Figma figures, which are little, tiny guys. So that looks great, and the horse is actually really really good. It has really good articulation too. So we'll go over some of our articulation on the horse, an impromptu review on the horse. Um, so he's got this ball joint at the tail here that's what let up down all around really really cool um and then he's got joints at the legs here so they're gonna go forwards backwards they go out a little bit um then you have i don't know horse anatomy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't know horse anatomy so i'm, I'm gonna say there's just a joint here <laughs> at the knee i guess i don't know Two joints here, and then you have joints here at the ankle, <laughs> and then there's no joint in the middle. Now, what's actually you know, what Masters of the Universe Classics has two horses too. They have Swiftwind, and then they have another horse, um, Arrow. So if you want to get those horses, but they're I think Arrow's like like tannish kind of color, and those are actually pretty good horses too. Those are those things are huge too. Swiftwind is a beast. Um, so you could actually probably use those horses as well. Um, probably have to do some customization on Swiftwind because he's a white horse with rainbow wings. 
but arrow might work. Um, and they actually have uh, like a swivel at the waist here, at the midsection. You can swivel them uh, left and right, which is pretty neat too. So you can get them in some pretty neat poses. And then he actually has, back to articulation on this guy's articulation here and here. Joints are kind of tight, so I'm not trying to like force it. So they kind of, like the ratchet joints, and they kind of move up and down here like, can you hear that? Yeah, so it kind of moves back and forth like that. And then he's got articulation in his head here and his neck. So you can get him looking down, drinking some water, lifting his head up, getting that guy like this. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. So, yeah. So I, if, if you're going to go for a horse and you want these guys, you know, with their horses, I think your best bet is to pick up some of these uh, Mythic Legion guys. Um yeah they, they got the size the scale um colors are a bit off i i think well, from the looks of it in this picture they look all brown but they look like different variations of brown this one's kind of black so i kind of want to be a little bit more accurate to the movie but whatever your preference is if you like the black horse use the black horse it's all good you know whatever you want to do um Man, that was a lot. That was a lot. This video is gonna be like, oh, ooh, it's gonna it's twenty two minutes long right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it kind of short and kind of talking fast, but there was a lot to cover. There's a lot of swappability. There's you could take these heads, you could put it, you can have them on regular bodies, you could have them on the samurai bodies, you could put the there's there's so much with this set. I think this is probably one of the best sets that they've had because there's so much that you can do with it. And there's parts for other past figures that you can use these for. And it just, it, there's there's a lot of replayability with these figures. And it's dope. Um, so, yeah. I, I think this would be it for Turtles 3, though. I don't think they're going to make any more Turtles 3 figures. If they do, they could make, they, they, there's a lot that they could make. I just don't know if they will. So that's the thing. Like, there's a lot they could. They could make a Casey Jones. They could make a Splinter. They could make an April. They could make um, not Lord. I got that wrong before. Lord Naranaga is the, the the dude with that the crazy helmet on. Walker. Walker was the bad guy. His name was Walker. Really? Walker. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's weak. <laughs> But you, know, you can make that guy, wet willy guy. There's a lot that they could do. I just don't know if they will. That's the thing. So, yeah. So, yeah. These sets were um, online around New York, uh, San Diego Comic-Con time. Hopefully you guys picked one up. I hear a lot of, um, a lot of people saying that their boxes came messed up. Some Capri Sun. <laughs> Some Capri Suns and all kinds of mess. That was funny though. I, li I like the Capri Sun post. Um, but yeah, a lot of boxes came messed up. Luckily, my box is. That's what I think. My box actually, boxes came pretty good. They didn't have any dents or anything like that. No padding. I had no padding, no no bubble wrap, no nothing. And my packages came pretty good. So I, I can't complain. The only thing is, just my keto hand broke but that was me putting too much pressure on it trying to push it in um trying to actually not trying to push it in but I was trying to move it like at the hinge trying to get him to hold the damn pizza broke but whatever it is what it is guys there's casualties everywhere so you know it is what it is so that's gonna wrap it up for this review if you like what you saw please give me a like subscribe i'm gonna catch you guys on the west side peace and love and i am out of here